Hi there, thank you for joining me today. This is Patty Bennett and I have a tip for you about making some custom stamps. I had these two cards posted on one of my blog posts recently and I was just waiting for somebody to email me and say, where did you get those greetings? So here they are and for people who kind of know the Stampin' Up! catalog inside and out, they may not have recognized these. Well, what I did was I took one of the Stampin' Up! Jumbo wheels and I took it apart and I mounted the pieces onto our clear blocks so that I had some custom stamps. So let me just show you quickly how I did that. You take your wheel, and it can be a jumbo or a regular size, and you find the seam. This is where the rubber goes around and meets, and you can find that. It's not too hard to see. Then I took a craft knife, and I went over that seam, and I did that a couple times. Now I actually did that on my tabletop, because it's not that smart to do it in your hand when you're handling a knife, is it? So. Don't do what I did. Please put it down on your table and use your knife. You can see I'm going over that a couple times. I actually didn't have to go over it that many times on the first couple that I did. So let's just see here. If I just loosen this, yeah, then it just peels right off. So all you really need to do is get that, um, you know, get the seam open and then you can peel it right off and then you have your piece of rubber that has lots of images on it. When you cut it apart it's going to start to look something like this. So I cut it um, a couple times I just used my craft knife on a self-healing mat and sometimes I even used a straight edge to go over it but for the most part, what I used was just my craft and rubber scissors from Stampin' Up! These scissors. This is what you would normally trim rubber with. And it's really not too hard to get in between the images. You just kind of go slow, and if you want to kind of bend it back apart so that you're not cutting on top of one of the images, you just do that. And then you'd want to just trim away any little extra parts that you don't want. And if you trim kind of at an angle away and you do not undercut into the image, that's the better way to cut and trim. Okay, so then you just have a little stamp there. And then what you're going to need from the Idea Book and Catalog, we have the clear mount cling foam. Now this is currently in the catalog that goes through the end of May 2012 and it's on the page with the clear blocks. I don't know how it's going to look when we get our new catalog. The page might look similar but this is what you want to look for. Clear mount cling foam. There are two pieces that are eight and a half by eleven and it's only ten ninety five. So here is what it looks like. This is the one I've already been cutting into and using, but this is what you'll find when you open the package. And then what you want to do is peel back the protective sheet and you take your new stamp and you can just lay it on there and press it. This is very, 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 very sticky. Really, really sticky. And then you're going to trim with your rubber cutting scissors and you trim that all around. It's really, really sticky. I'm not kidding you. This stuff is like mega sticky. So probably need to clean off my rubber cutting scissors when I'm done with this because they're kind of a mess right now. Okay, so I would get that all trimmed up and then when you're ready to put it onto a clear block you would just peel off that backing and now it's exactly the same surface as any of our clear mount stamps. And then to mount it onto a clear block, 
I'll just take this one off. My best tips for mounting your clear mount stamps on the clear block is first of all you want to make sure that you don't have any fingerprints or anything on your clear block. So I just rub it on my shirt sleeve and then I give it a little huff and press and then hold. And you want to count to about 10. You don't just want to tap it on there and lift up. And that's going to ensure that you have a really good adhesion there between the stamp and the block. And then you're going to be able to ink it and stamp it and use it. So you can see here that when I cut my wheel apart, I was able to get you and me friends forever and ever, and then this true, true friends greeting as well. And that's something that otherwise we wouldn't have in the catalog. This image here was actually a standard size wheel that I took off the wheel and I mounted it onto a clear block. Now, yeah, I realize I could have just wheeled right on there, but I don't always get a perfect image when I use a wheel. Sometimes my hand wobbles a little bit. So I just thought, you know what? I'm just gonna unmount this and I'm gonna try that on a long block. And I just used that to stamp right there. So pretty easy, pretty fun, great way to get some new use out of your wheels and you know make them go a little farther and use them in a different way. So I hope you've enjoyed that and I hope that you'll have fun with your wheels. Thanks for joining me.